Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Feel Good Lounge, where we're talking almonds and almond milk today. Uh, last video was on coconut water. I add coconut water to my almond milk. They really pair uh, together nicely. Um, I have some raw uh, almonds here that I buy direct from the farm. Um, they're quasi-local. They're right there from here in Southern California. So I know they're raw and unpasteurized. And the way I do mine is I actually soak and peel my almonds. And here's a bunch of the already peeled almonds, still raw. Um, and basically the soaking and the peeling takes care of two things. It takes care of the enzyme inhibitors and phytic acid, both of which are what they call mineral binders. Not only is the nut or the seed less digestive friendly, but they also have these enzyme inhibitors and phytic acid or mineral binders, which actually strip minerals out of your body. So by soaking, you eliminate the enzyme inhibitors by um, starting the germination process. And by soaking and peeling, you eliminate the phytic acid because most of the phytic acid, if not all of the phytic acid um, in almonds is found on the skin, which is why I peel them. The milk is also a little less bitter to the taste and it also is more pleasant to the eye. It's quite, it's quite a bit lighter and whiter, so it's a kind of a more bright, brilliant white. Um, so again, I'll soak for anywhere from 8 to 12 hours. I'll peel it. I'll rinse this really, really well, and then I will blend, make my almond milk base, and then typically, you know, to let's say if I'm making a, a, the almond milk coconut water for, I'll go about one-third almond milk and then add two-thirds coconut water, and that's what I'm using as my base, uh, my base almond milk. So if you have any questions on that, nuts and seeds, and how to make them healthy and more digestive friendly, shoot me an email, and thanks for tuning in.